Hello everyone. I am pretty excited. I found a new way to loot lock. Um, normally, let me show you. Normally, I'm right here. I run down into the parking lot over here. Uh, I run up to that tank. I count one, two, three. I quick save. And then I go in, starting on this ledge. So I have a hard save here. Run in one, two, three. Go in there. However, I found something interesting that I can do. I'm going to do a second hard save right as I get to that tank. And that's going to fix the enemies before their loot is decided. I don't know if that makes sense. So, if there's a legendary enemy there, I can guarantee to get that legendary enemy. The same one again and again and again. And, he'll, and then I'll be able to use a quick save to loot lock him. The problem with this method is right now is that it's not guaranteed that one of the five enemies that spawns outside is going to be legendary so you will waste a lot and also this will cut off some seconds um, let me just show you what I mean first we're gonna run in right as we get to the tank we're gonna do a hard save so you have one because I was testing so we'll do a hard save then we're gonna do a quick save right after the hard save just in case it's what we want um, but we're gonna check these guys and if there's any legendary, okay, we got a legendary there. I don't really like that that guy's position. I would rather have a legendary closer, but I think it's okay to. Do that. Let me turn my sound down. I think my game sound is way too high. All right, there we go. I don't want to make these guys mad. All right, so we got leather right arm, assassin's leather right arm. Um, I could loot lock that, but instead I'm going to reload the save right as I hit the tank. Now this save, as soon as the save loads, I'm going to hit quick save again. Because that quick save is going to be uh, after the item is generated, but before the legendary is generated. So the auto save is after the enemy, the quick save is after the item. So we know that we're going to have... The same legendary guy, same outfit, same everything. You know, he has the same, he's wearing the same stuff. Then we're going to check what he has. Okay, combat armor, left arm. I'm just going to prove this, uh, just so you know. So that was a combat armor, left arm. What was it? I can't even remember anymore. Jeez, I should pay attention to that. But it should be another combat armor left arm. I'm loading the quick save now rather than the hard save. So he should have the same item with a different prefix. Combat armor left arm with something else. Yeah. Was it Sentinels last time? I feel like it might have been Sentinels. So I'm just going to prove it again to myself. Make sure I didn't screw this up. It's good to test this before I start trying to do some long farming session. Just make sure that the method works at least. Same guy, same outfit. Okay, so we got Mutant Slayer. So that means the loot lock is working. Different prefix, same item, but we don't want that item. So we're going to reload the hard save here. Hit quick save, run in try to kill that guy now i did i did test this with two enemies because it's possible to have two legendary enemies spawn here but i can't loot lock both of them now it still might be beneficial to have two enemies but the problem is the unpredictable nature of the loot locking the fact that only one is going to loot lock it could lead to some issues Ooh, a radium rifle yes it's right but i'm not gonna i don't want that I am going for a Gatling laser, a wounding Gatling laser. I have already seen wounding is on the table, so I know that wounding is available, and I really want to try this out. Everyone keeps talking about how good the wounding Gatling laser is, and I've never had one, so let's go for it. As long as you do the quick save within the first second, it seems to be fine. Got, got up there. Like, sometimes they just charge in, you know? Don't want to waste that much time. Okay, so we got left arm. Gatling laser is extremely rare, so making our farming method efficient 
is going to be very important. Oh, he said efficient. The efficient gamer said efficient. He said it. Oh. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I've been playing around with this for a couple hours now. Uh, I had a real long day, so... This is, for me, this is how I relax. This is how I just chill and relax, is just testing out new stuff and, you know, doing little farming sessions. Uh, really glad to show off the results. I have another farming thing that I discovered. I don't think it's as, like, groundbreaking as this or as interesting as this, but... Um, actually, it might be. Uh, you guys will have to see it. Probably will put, you know, probably record that and put it out next week. I have to decide what I want to farm, though. The problem is it's a low-level farm. So, and since I already have the minigun, which is the, you know, rare low-level item, uh, I don't really know what to farm. Ripper's cool. I also already got the automatic, automatic laser musket. Which is another pretty cool low level thing. It's your reward for completing the Minutemen. It's not that powerful and it can't be modded, which kind of makes it stupid, but. Look at that. Rad powered metal right on. Yeah, we're looking for Gatling laser and Gatling laser only. I haven't seen any prefix I want for armor, except sprinters, so. If there is a uh, Disciples Heavy Armor left leg, I will keep that because I want a Sprinter's version of that to match my right leg. Dude. Come on. What are you doing, man? right in my way so I couldn't hit the button. That's so stupid. Hold on, I'm gonna just turn the sound down a little bit for, for my end. I don't want the sound bleeding into the microphone. Another right arm. Feels like I've been seeing a lot of leather stuff. This is definitely a lot faster than the National Guard Training Yard. Ooh, we got a yeet, yeet sighting. Yeet sighting. Yeet alert. And his head just came perfectly off. Look at that sweet cowl. I'm currently working on the next video for the perfect playthrough, which is Far Harbor. Uh, I finished it up. That's why I'm wearing this cool hat that you guys maybe saw. Um, I am writing the script now, but I wanted to just take a break and chill for a little bit. And these are really, you know, nice and relaxing, doing some farming. Why am I detected? Jeez. We should count how long it takes from beginning to end. Okay, let's let's count from the end of this load, or from as soon as the game loads in. See how long it takes to do one cycle. Okay, I'm at 9.16 at the start. And I don't need to worry about aggroing them, to be honest. Wait, okay, where'd he go? Whoa. Oh. I couldn't, I didn't target him. Okay, reload. Not the best indicator. Um, it looks like it's going to be around 40 seconds, probably. Seven, eight, 152. About 35 seconds. Move.
Why are you all the way up there, man? So this is this is nice. I think this method's pretty nice, actually, because the, in the old one I had a count, if you remember from all the way a week ago when I put out the last one, you'd hear me run up to the tank and count, you know, one, two, three to get the timing right. This one doesn't have any dependent timing because the save takes care of that for some reason. Come on. Boxing glove. Nice. We want a Gatling laser. I think the Gatling laser is like a 1 in 200 drop or something silly like that. Although it seems to be more common than the minigun, from here at least. I've probably seen the Gatling laser a few times, it's just not loot locked. I've never been able to loot lock it. But I haven't seen the minigun on this playthrough at all out here. I only saw it from a low level zone. Explosive 10 millimeter auto pistol, that's cool. We know explosives on the table. I can't think of any weapon to get explosive on that's any good. I got the sweet Far Harbor kiloton radium rifle. I got the spray and pray. I got the combat shotgun. And I got the explosive minigun. So what else is there as far as explosive? I've heard explosive harpoon gun is pretty cool. So this is really nice because we are guaranteed to get this legendary every time. And before when I would farm and, you know, not only would I have to load and count to three, about half the time you would run in and there would be no legendary. And so this immediately, if it's 50%, this doubles the efficiency. Right off the bat, we're at double the efficiency and that's pretty darn cool. I feel like that should be a catchphrase. Pretty darn cool. I feel like I say that a lot in these live videos. I never have it in a script, but I always say it when I'm just improvising. I got such nice feedback on these videos. People are so nice. They're just like, you know, I, I don't usually watch this kind of stuff, but it's fun just to chill. A lot of people are doing legendary farming with me. You should try uh, loading this up and seeing if you can get the same item as me before I get it. Race. Race me. I could just, like, look at the weapon he's holding. However, sometimes he's not, like, there. I think he was holding his original weapon, which was the Disciple's Automatic Rifle. So I don't think that's consistent, unfortunately. Like, he might not be... He might have a Gatling laser in his inventory, but he's not holding it. So I do have to run in and check what he's holding. But I love it. I can just immediately quick save and we're locked in. There's no funky timing. He ran in ahead of everyone. I feel like uh, doing it until I get the guy in the back might be cool. <laughs> I can just. I don't have to run in as far to check. I also could have uh, my probably explosive shotgun and just run in and go crazy. I don't know if that's faster or not. Let's see what happens. Let's go explosive shotgun. I don't think that's faster. Oh my god, he's stim packed. That's worse. <laughs> Boxing glove, okay. Yeah, we'll stick with the Goss rifle. Seems to be doing the trick. Things are just so bulky. That's another reason I want to try this wounding Gatling laser out, is it ignores armor. So whatever cool armor they're wearing doesn't matter. It ignores armor and damage resistance. Which I guess is armor. I'm sorry, I guess any inherent damage resistance would also be ignored. Left arm. So the odds, I always explain this, but the odds of the drops are if uh, whenever you encounter a legendary, it doesn't matter what kind of legendary it is, only the level matters that varies. 
but the base drop values are for any legendary enemy 50 50 50 percent chance is going to be armor a one in three chance that it's going to be a gun and a one in six chance it's going to be a melee weapon like it was there so melee weapons are rare um, however guns have like a secondary category called rare guns that are on their own kind of loot table where they have two roles to deal with so the gatling laser is on that mini guns on that a few other guns are on that so it just makes it so much harder to get certain things like the mini gun or like the mini gun and the gatling laser So we're probably going to see a lot of these weapons multiple times and be annoyed that we never get the Gatling laser. Truth be told, while I was testing this out, I did see a Gatling laser. I just didn't have the right timing for loot locking and I hadn't figured this method out yet. I was working on the method, which, you know, that's an investment for the future, so that's okay, but that still sucks. Sucks that it would drop when I can't actually take advantage of it. That really sucks, actually. But this is cool. This is probably the fastest way to do it. Oh, I think I loaded my quick save. Did I? If I loaded my quick save, I'm in trouble. Not in trouble, but something new. I'm just holding like left and up so that I get going quickly. But so far we haven't failed any of these. At least that you've seen. Maybe I have some footage that I didn't want to put out because it was a failure. Bloody Knuckle. That's a cool name. Dog meat. Yeah, I think by the time this comes out, you guys will have seen the recent video. About oh I didn't quick save at all shoot that might be way too late if this is the Gatling laser I'm gonna be so mad oh my god I'm gonna be mad handmade rifle is wounding though so we do see wounding on the table as we're supposed to um yeah the video last video where I basically tortured dog meat for the to the delight of my companions. While I was doing research about that and about dog meat, I found out that the real dog meat played by, you know, they used a actual, like, one of the developer's pets named River, German Shepherd. They were going to use, um, like, police dogs, but they wanted dog meat to behave more like a an actual, you know, a pet, not a not an attack dog. And... I thought that was really cool. And so a lot of the behavior is modeled after River, a lot of the animations and stuff. And it's really sad The River died about six months ago. Six years after, five and a half years after the game's release. So if you're wondering about the cutscene at the end, not a cutscene, but the little segment at the end, that's what it was about. I thought it was pretty clear, but I don't know. This animation, I don't like how that cod piece looks on him. I mean, it doesn't uh, doesn't accentuate his features well. I wouldn't want to wear that myself. If that makes any sense. What has he got? He's got an assault rifle. Is the assault rifle on the rear table? I haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, man. Come on, Gatling laser.
This is just so nice having a guaranteed legendary. You know, be really cool is if somehow we could get the timing before it rolls the uh, what type of item, so we could get it rolling the gun at least. But I think that happens too fast. Picking, you know, picking the weapon is too fast. We're going to get it, guys. And it's going to be awesome. Until I goof up the loot lock and I cry. Laser sniper rifle. Yeah, always make sure that if you're doing one of these really rare uh, legendary loot locks, like, for example, going for a very rare weapon, like a Gatling laser, or you're going for a very specific piece of armor, like, you know, a Disciple's heavy metal left leg, um, make sure that your prefixes are available. It would just, if you get the weapon loot locked and you don't have <laughs> the right prefixes, that's just a shame. Oh, I get tired. Been a long day, long week. Been doing a lot of stuff for school and for work and for the channel. Channel, uh, my video I dropped um, recently, the top 10 video, that one did pretty well, both in terms of views and in terms of s subscribers gained. It, it wasn't bad. We're growing, guys. I appreciate everyone who's here, you know, on the ground floor, helping me build this core, helping me, you know, keep going. This is a journey. It, you know, I, I keep hoping that something's just going to hit. Might not be the case, you know, it might just be this slow grind where I just slowly move up. And as long as I'm moving up, that's important. I just got to keep putting out videos. I can't let myself fall off like I did in the past. Be consistent, put something out, you know. I don't know if I want to keep putting out quest guides, though. It seems like those don't do well. I actually lost subscribers on the last quest guide. I mean, I think it's just stuff people already know and don't really care about. I thought I, you know, maybe an interesting thing. I have one more quest video ready to go. It is something that I think... I didn't know about with that quest. I didn't know it was a possible ending. But uh, hopefully that one does a little better. These videos get really, really nice interaction with you guys. I don't know why, but you guys love commenting on these. And I love, you know, chatting with you about these videos. I feel it's it reminds me of a podcast. And I mentioned that before. But, like, you just get to know people a little better when they're just chatting with you while they're doing something it's also why i watch like shiny hunting twitch channels and stuff like that it's it's just fun you're just hanging out you know and when you're doing something that's really focused where you can't divide your attention uh it's not as fun but being able to do this and then talk at the same time without that much focus is pretty cool so I'm glad people are enjoying it. It's not the kind of thing that really grows the channel, but it's the kind of thing that helps me interact with the subscribers I do have already, the people who enjoy my stuff. And that makes it worth it to me. It doesn't take a ton of effort to make these compared to the other videos where I have to script everything and edit it. Oh, I've been watching a lot of, like, youtuber channels like how to be a youtuber because i'm trying to get better at it and i've been going back through my old videos and doing the analytics and i'm starting to understand the stuff that's not working well and the stuff that is working well 
so I've been happy to do that. The, the retention on these videos is really weird because they're so long. And I think timestamps are important because uh, people do want to be able to skip ahead. And that's fine. The chapter thing. it Some people are really against the chapters. I think they help viewers, but they hurt us. They hurt the content providers because they give you guys a way to get out of our videos quicker if that makes sense like you get to find the exact point but like if there's something you're looking for and we don't give you chapters well now you got to search through and you're going to spend longer watching the video trying to find that point and uh, it's a really weird thing of like giving someone what they want at the cost of your own you know your own possible prosperity very weird YouTube's a weird thing. I was also actually looking at my subscriber list just to see if I had people who are doing YouTube and... Ooh, a Gamma Gun is on a rare table as well. Why Gamma Gun? Why not Gatling Laser? I do have some people who do YouTube. Um, I don't have a lot that are, like, huge, but I have people with, you know, 900, 800 subscribers and, like, people who are like doing what i'm doing trying to grow their channels and there's some really good content in there and i would love to be in a position in the future where i'm able to help out those subscribers of my channel who are making their own great content I mean, right now i don't have much of an audience i can try but we'll see we'll see what happens in the future youtube I don't know how much people like talking about the meta of YouTube, the analytics and all that stuff. I think YouTube interests people, the the uh, analytics interests people, because a lot of people do have channels, even if they only have, you know, 10 subscribers or something, they, they at least attempt it. And I think they are like, well, what would I have to do to succeed? Is it worth the effort? Um... If you're in that position where you're like, man, it takes a lot of work to do videos, and I don't know if it's ever going to be successful. I would say when I started this, I had no idea if anyone would watch my videos, and I didn't really care that much. Like, that wasn't the motivation. It was a personal challenge. It was something, a skill that I wanted to learn, how to edit videos something I never really worked with before. And uh, I've always been someone who learns by doing. So I was like, man, if I can edit videos and put them out, it doesn't matter if anyone watches them because I still gain that skill. And then once I got okay at editing videos, I still think I'm not great at the actual technical side of editing. I, I'm okay at like uh, touching up the audio and stuff like that. But the actual mechanisms of like what makes a good YouTube video, how to edit it in a way that keeps retention up. That's something I've been looking at a lot more and trying to figure out. So I'm hoping my current, the YouTube videos that are coming out are going to have a nicer pacing. I think that was a big problem with my previous videos is did the pacing and the retention was just going really bad right at the beginning. You know, like uh, part one, I don't know if any of you have gone back and watched part one again of the perfect Fallout 4 playthrough. It had this huge dump, like down to 60% right off the bat. And it's because I spend the first 30 seconds just being like, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Oh, I had all these cyberpunk videos, but they're kind of, you know, no one likes cyberpunk. Um... So I felt really, di you know, disappointed and I didn't want to make videos anymore. And then suddenly my channel got really popular and one of my videos took off and people didn't care about that. They're like, okay, where, where's the content, you know? So I actually did, uh, I used a feature of YouTube and I just clipped out a huge chunk of the beginning. And it's not, actually, it's kind of smooth. Like, it's not super jarring. If you'd never watched the video before, you'd probably have no idea that I cut something out there. So uh, the retention just improved a ton after doing that. 
Oh my god. I could farm another explosive minigun if I want. What is going on? I've seen two different rare items. Minigun and gamma gun. That sucks, dudes. That really sucks. <laughs> we'll get it, though. I mean, you can see this pace, like how fast we're able to go through these. It just improves our our uh, pace of uh, farming a lot. Rolling pin. We got wounding again. Wounding is on the table, so as soon as we get what we're looking for, which is a Gatling laser, we are going to be set. Ooh, as long as I quick save in time. That was a little late, but I think it's still okay. And the guy with the minigun definitely wasn't holding the minigun. Like, I would have noticed it giant minigun in front of them so they what i'll notice sometimes is when i run up they'll start off holding their weapon and then as they get into the battle they'll be like oh wait i have a better weapon and the ai you know their ai will tell them to swap weapons and but they don't do it right away Just hit tab real fast, actually. Ew. Bone right leg. I, I need to go collect all the magazines. I, I think I did pretty decent. One of the tips, I'm going to do another top 10 tips thing, because a lot of people have been mentioning stuff in the comments, but there was there were a bunch of tips that I left out because I wanted to narrow it to 10. But one of them is just using the wiki whenever you go to a new location. Check the wiki to see if there's... Oh my god, that's so nice. That's the second wounding handmade sniper or handmade rifle we've seen. That's crazy. Check the wiki whenever you enter a building. Like, check the wiki for notable loot. Just to see if there's a bobblehead or a magazine in there. Because those are the two collectible things. Or some kind of rare clothing or something, you know. But usually it's a bobblehead or a or a magazine. In every major story place, there's bobbleheads and magazines, usually. Left armband. Oh, that's the crap one. And I don't think unyielding is on the table. I don't think fortifying is on the table. I know sprinters is on the table. So I don't think I can get any stuff that I really want. I do want to put together an, an, an unyielding set. People commented on my gunner farm that should have an unyielding set specifically for that. And they're right. Because unyielding is 15 intelligence, and I can only get 5 from my sharp gear. I'm also wondering if I'm going to make a new masochist video, because there's some stuff I've learned since that that really take that to an extreme. I can't believe we saw a minigun and a gamma gun. That's so upsetting. But 34 minutes in and we've seen at least two rare items, so we're going to get there. Hopefully before the hour. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, I tried to hit tab really fast there. Seems like there's a threshold that has to be fired out at least. Berserker's Nux. Nux. Well, 
I want to do an unarmed build. Like, I think after I finish the perfect Fallout 4 playthrough, I'm going to do some more themed builds. They're going to be good builds, but they're not, not going to be like... I can't worry about making them perfect, because this is perfect, you know, or... Like, perfect is unlocking every perk in the game, essentially. Or at least all the good ones, so... It's like, what what is a perfect build? The best build. There's no such thing as the best build with Fallout 4, because there's no level cap. So the best build is just unlock everything. Max your special stats, unlock everything. Cool Q. Oh, I have an AI class. So I'm in grad school. Um, I'm working on my master's degree. I'm going to graduate in like spring 2022, hopefully, as long as I pass all my classes. Uh, I'm taking an AI class this semester, and then I'm taking another class. Isn't as interesting, but the AI class is crushing me. Shish kebab, another crazy item. Although I think that the melee weapons are all on the same loot table, so I don't think that matters that much. Um, the AI class is a lot of fun, but holy cow, it's hard. And this week's assignment was crushing me. So I didn't really get a lot of fallout in this week until the end of the week. And then yesterday I kind of just pushed through entire the entire Far Harbor. Because I realized that's the video I need to make next is Far Harbor before the end of the game. Because there's something missable. Oh, man. He, so, did you see him pick something up? I thought he picked up the weapon. Did he just pick something else up? I think he picked up his weapon, but it wasn't the legendary. Yeah. So Far Harbor has, you know, has two power armor sets. It's got the Vims. It's got a third one that can only be found in... A very specific way and so that's going to be one of the features of the far harbor thing and this is all credit going to my discord because i had no idea i don't i'm not a collector like for me a perfect playthrough should probably collect everything but i don't worry about it as much as i should so yeah it's uh it's interesting because it's very very much missable It's one of the Brotherhood of Steel paint jobs, and it can only be found by making very specific decisions at very specific times and doing some very sketchy things. Oh, hope you guys are having a good week. Hopefully someone's farming with me. Hopefully someone got their Gatling laser before me. Maybe you did. Let me know. Let me know what you guys were farming. A lot of you tell me you're farming while watching this, which is cool. Let me know if you tried this technique. This is a cool one. Combat armor, right arm. Yeah, I was just playing around with the timings, and I realized, I was like, if you save too early, the enemy's already generated, but the item isn't generated yet. So I'm like, why am I relying on luck to get a legendary enemy when I know that I can save after the enemy's generated, but before the item's generated? Harpoon gun. Uh... Neo Metal on the Discord was telling me that explosive harpoon guns are actually a lot of fun. I don't know why though. They're slow hitting. I, or are they? I, actually, actually, do you know what? I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've ever equipped and used a harpoon gun. Maybe I have to. I know it's a pretty hard-hitting weapon. I know, like, instigating harpoon guns pretty solid. 
Would just love to see him holding a big old Gatling laser. Where's the load in? Oh, there it is. This has got to be a screenshot here, guys. Yay, I found the most useless weapon in the game. Ghoul Slayer's Gamma Gun. Everyone talks about it. This is a meme. I know this is a meme. But I found it. Ghoul Slayer's Gamma Gun. I beat the game as far as memes go. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I have to send that out too as a as a picture on YouTube. I need to do more community stuff. I don't really know about the shorts though. Everyone keeps talking about how the shorts are so important for getting you in the algorithm, but what I get from the shorts is I get like a, a six hour period where I get a ton of views on them. I get no subscribers from the videos. It's just people go through the shorts, but they don't like check out your channel afterwards. Ooh, that's nice. Right arm. I don't think. Oh wait, I want to check my gear real fast. What do I have? Oh, I have the uh, marine right arm on right now. It's like a movement speed. Yeah, I guess I don't need that. So if you have to go in your menu, it's nice to actually load while you're in the menu because if you as soon as you hop out of the menu an autosave generates and you have to delete the autosave so it's dumb let's get it guys i haven't failed one of these yet but the question is, would I put out the footage if I did fail? Answer, probably not. I may have some footage that I deleted where I failed. I don't even think it'd be fun. Unless there's something compelling in the video, I probably wouldn't put it out if I failed. Which means, spoiler alert, I must have succeeded if you're listening to this. But, at this moment, I don't know if I succeeded because otherwise this video would be deleted. Hmm. What a weird, like, Schrodinger's cat philosophical thing. That's... lever action's cool. I always loved lever action weapons in all the, like, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. Like, the... I forgot what it was called in Fallout 3. There was that sweet, like, Lincoln's repeater that loaded in the barrel. That has to have been modded into the game, right? Or like Creation Club. I'd love to have the Lincoln's weapons from Fallout 3 in, in Fallout 4. Maybe I'll get to the point in the future where I get to just put out lazy <laughs> mod reviews and Creation Club reviews. I'd love to get to that point. I do need to play the New Vegas one, though. Everyone, you know... Everyone's checking that out, so... I think I missed the boat. I keep missing the boat on stuff. I started putting out content too late. It's still a really popular game, and I think the ceiling's still quite high. But... I think, uh... I think if I had been putting out this kind of content really early in Fallout 4, I would have been doing well. At, but I can't kick myself. I wasn't ready to do it back then, you know? I didn't have the means, I didn't have the drive, I didn't have the ability. So I can't beat myself up. I'm doing it when I can. And the fact that my channel is even growing at all, putting out content from a six-year-old game is really cool. I feel so fortunate. I have to be appreciative. You can't compare yourself to other people. There's no, there's no upside in that, right? Just appreciate what you got. And I'm sure some people look at my channel and they go, Man, I've been doing YouTube for this amount of years and I got like 150 subscribers and I don't know what to do. And so I, I should I should appreciate where I'm at. 
And yeah, if you guys want specific kind of YouTube, YouTuber type content, let me know. I don't know how that would fit on this channel, but, uh, and I don't even know if I'm the expert to talk about it. I've learned a few things. First of all, silence. Silence is a retention killer. If you're doing, you know, normal videos, if you're doing these kind of videos, whatever. There's only a few people who actually, I mean, there, there's not, I don't want to say a few people, but there's a certain type of person who is going to be sitting through this kind of video and enjoying it as sort of ambient stuff while they're doing other things. But if I want like, ooh, another assault rifle. If I want like broader success, I have to follow this sort of YouTube style where I have to reduce. One thing is, first thing is no intro stings. No intro stings. Don't do like a 30 second. Oh my God, you remember back even like five or six years ago on YouTube, you'd open a video and the guy would have like a 30 second intro animation that he probably spent forever working on and loves. But it's like you could not care less about their little intro sting. So intro stings are gone. Don't do like a 30 second intro thing. Like, look at what we do on my channel. 30 seconds. Yeah, unboxings. Woo. Don't do any of that. Get into your content as fast as possible. That's another thing that they mentioned. Just if you want to talk about what you're, you know, what's on your channel, it's okay. But where's my dude? But don't do it in a way that takes very long. You know, do it in a way that is connected to the narrative of your story. And I tried to do that in the uh, top 10 video I did. At the beginning, I mentioned, like, on this channel, we do a lot of min-maxing specific stuff. But, you know, I want to take a step back and blah, blah, blah. So it was a natural way to plug my own video while getting into the content of that video. At least that's what I was going for. I guess the topic of today is just meta YouTube. I guess that's what I've been obsessing over. The other funny thing is like finding out all the stuff that other people do while they're trying to grow their channel. And oh, I have a lot of the same habits, like waking up immediately, checking my YouTube studio app, seeing if I got any new subscribers, <laughs> having my live subscriber count open. It's, it's fun actually. Like, uh, my wife worries that I might be like, stressing myself out over it. Like, oh no, I didn't get any subscribers in the last 10 hours or whatever, but it's, it's just fun, you know? It's like a, it's like doing a little game. Nice. Combat rifle. So, I got some really interesting ideas, and I don't know if they're gonna do well. But, they're just things, they're like passion projects. There's things that I just want to do. I want to test. And I don't think people have done them before. It doesn't really fit my channel, but it fits me. Like, my life isn't just all about this min-maxing stuff. I love it, but there's other things I really love, you know? I love I love a lot, a lot of, you know, fun stuff. I, I love pop culture. I love comedy. I love music. And I, I just want to get more of that into my channel somehow, relate it. And I don't know if it's going to turn people off, but I also really think I need to do more build guides. Yeah, another thing I checked is like they have what are the most common searches and the number one search with like Fallout 4 and something after is Fallout 4 builds. So I, I need to do more builds and they're hard to do. Um, but I have an idea for how to theme my builds better and do these creative builds that could be a lot of fun. Um, one of the things is like not worrying about my builds being too perfect because just fun builds. I think are going to be really good. I mean, they have to make sense as far as which perks I take, but not perfect sense. Oh, we got another Goss rifle. Ew. Ew. Getting all these other cool weapons. 
two gamma guns, a mini gun, DOS rifle, two assault rifles, probably several handmade rifles. But I mean, that's that's amazing though, like how fast we're actually rolling through these things. It's just a shame. Oh, what did he got? Oh, that's his head. <laughs> I was like, he looked like a big weapon. It was just his head on the ground. That's really funny. It is actually really funny. Mm. These sentry bots used to scare me so much. But once you're so, like, beefy, like, they're nothing. You know what scares me now is, like, super mutant warlords. They are so meaty. They are just insanely hard to kill. They're a lot harder than behemoths. Metal left arm. I will settle for specifically a Disciples metal left leg. So I can get a Sprinters to match. I would take that right now. And I would call it a good video. And I don't know how I would... Uh, I don't know how I would title it. Because I don't think it's really interesting to title like look at this piece of armor i found each companion has their yeah what did you guys think of the uh affinity video do you think my perfect fallout 4 playthrough is taking a dark turn someone mentioned that like a lot of the stuff to be perfect is going to be morally gray, and that's really true. Like, I'm going to be doing a lot of really bad stuff to retain a perfect playthrough. And I don't know how people are going to feel about that. You know, I just finished up Far Harbor, and the ending decision might not be a happy ending because... I checked the rewards, and I had to make my decision based on the best rewards for a perfect playthrough. I can't worry about keeping every faction alive, you know? There's a difference between a peaceful playthrough and a perfect playthrough. Or, you know, a benevolent pay playthrough, I guess. Ooh, wounding assault rifle. That's pretty cool. Show me the weapon. There we go. Do you guys have that issue? Like, I don't know, the longer this save goes, like I have four days on this save right now, the longer the save goes, or then the more saves I have, it seems like it takes longer to load these things. I've also noticed when I switch weapons to a handmade rifle, uh, the game will freeze for a second while it's trying to load the graphic of that weapon. I don't know why. So I stopped carrying it because it was just too annoying. It also wasn't very good. I had a two-shot handmade rifle, and I thought it was awesome. Lucky missile launcher. Jeez Louise. I'm getting close to an hour. How long should we go for? Should we go for the longest farming video ever? Will people sit through it? I'm going to have to put these, like, checkpoints. And I'm going to give these weird things that you should say, like Easter eggs. Like, type this as a comment without any context, you know, without saying I watched the whole video and I saw this. You know, like, uh, if you were watching this part of the video, ooh, incendiary, I mean, that's a good one. It's okay. I don't think anything cools on the table, unfortunately, for arms, like unyielding or fortifying. I haven't seen any yet, so I'm not going to bother. What can I have you guys say? If you're watching this part of the video, uh, just type in the comments that, um, hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think of something really silly, really silly and Fallout related. Hmm. Yeah, without any without any uh, markers, you just type like, uh, ooh, 
Who's the sexiest companion? Nick Valentine. Okay. Yeah, so if you're a... Uh, I mean, that's just true, though, right? So if you're, if you're at this part of the video specifically, it doesn't have any timestamps, so you would have to have just been watching this whole time. Just type in the comments, Nick Valentine is the sexiest companion. And no context, no nothing. And uh, then I will just know that you were watching the whole video. Look at that flopperoonie. Another Gamma Gun. What is going on? Maybe Gamma Gun's not on the rare table. Could be wrong. I hope it's not, because that just means I've just been missing out on Gatling lasers on every one of those rolls. Something's got to be on the rare table, though. I know mini guns are, and I know Gatling guns are. Yeah, so Nick Valentine, sexiest companion. Duh. Look at his head go flying. You know, put these little Easter eggs in the videos, and people will be wondering why there's just these random comments. <laughs> Nick Valentine's the sexiest companion. Alright, my wife had to just sneak out for a second. She doesn't like to interfere with my videos, she's nice. But these ones take too long, so... It's okay. She has to live here too. I just, I haven't watched the video, but I keep getting recommended like a video about why are assault rifles so weird looking in Fallout 4? And I never really thought about that. It's true, they are weird looking. And I've never used them. I don't really use them. I don't know, there's some weapons that just never have appealed to me. I've never had a reason to use them. There's no like, Legendaries that I can't live without versions of them, you know. Some uh, some machine gun was one of those, and then uh, I started, you know, using the spray and pray, which is an awesome one. Do do do. Let's get it. Whoa, that's a fat man. Relentless fat man. That's another rare one. What is going on? What is the best legendary? Is it instigating? I'm wondering what the best uh, Merv is. Best legendary Merv. Fallout 4. Best legendary prefix. Uh, two shot. I mean, two shot is good, but only for not Merv. Penetrating. Man, people did not vote on this very well. I guess there's no good one. What legendary effect have you seen? No. What's the best? How effective? It's not very good. Like a Merv launcher is not very good because it just adds one more round, right? Um, instigating is okay for a normal one. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna worry about this. Ugh. Let's just go for what we're going for. That really sucks. We've seen like every rare except for the Gatling laser at this point. Oh, that's so such a bummer. I just can't think of any... Like, there's no legendary that's better than Big Boy or the Fat Man, right? 
a lot of people are going to be in the comments like, are you crazy? You passed up on a legendary fat man loot locked? What's wrong with you? Like, a wounding fat man is not going to do anything. Sniper rifle. I have been partial to the like 308 sniper rifle stuff. Uh, when I first started playing, I loved the aesthetic, like the the actual sniper rifle, not the combat rifle, but the sniper rifle. The bolt action, I guess lever action and bolt action. I just like that. Machete. You know, machete is interesting because um, we can take that mod off of the Krems, Krems the tooth, and we can put that on a legendary machete. So we could make a pretty sick legendary machete with Krems tooth or whatever it's called. I don't know what prefix would be good for that, though. I need to think about this stuff just in case it drops. These targeted runs are better though. Let's let's get what we're going for, you know? We're going for something specific. I don't care how long it takes. Belted chess piece. That's a nice one. I just don't have a good roll on it. So I, there's only two things I'm going for, and that's sprinters, disciples, left leg, or uh, the Gatling laser, the wounding Gatling laser. I put out a poll, and most people actually said the Eternus is the best one, the never-ending Gatling laser that comes from Nuka World. Other people said Final Judgment, which is also a very good option. Um, but when I really talk to people who know their stuff and who do legendary farming or they, you know, they, they mixed all these prefixes to figure it out, they all say that wounding is the best because the wounding damage stacks, it ignores armor and it's just going to be the only thing that actually does decent damage against high level enemies. And it made sense to me. I get it. So I improved my method specifically so I could farm this. I'm upset because we've seen a minigun, we've seen a fat man, we've seen a bunch of gamma guns. Come on, game. Alien blaster. I still haven't gone and got the alien blaster yet. It's funny that you can mod it into uh, not using that ammo anymore. Has Mitten Squad done a run where he only uses the Alien Blaster? He must have, right? I mean, if you can beat the game as a pacifist, not killing anything, then you can beat the game with any weapon. Like, you just don't use any ammo. It would be kind of cool to try to conserve all the ammo from it. Other lever action. We've seen like every weapon multiple times, except for the rare ones. This is like, if you're targeting some, well, you know what we haven't seen is the Disciples' Blades. Yeah. Did we see one? I can't even remember. I'm thinking of a top 10 list, which is the top 10 best legendary weapons. And the rule of the list is going to be that you can't repeat any prefixes or any... God, that pack chest looks so stupid. You can't 
reuse any prefixes or any items. So I can't have like two shot Goss rifle and uh, instigating Goss rifle. And I can't have explosive shotgun and explosive minigun. You know, I have to try to bury it. And I think there's some cool possibilities with that. So I'd have to choose which junkies I think is the best. And I would pro Ooh, that's another fat man. What was that? What went flying? Oh my god, are you kidding me? We've seen two fat mans. And fat man and minigun are the two that I know for sure are on the rare table along with Gatling laser. We've seen two fat mans and minigun. Like this is the worst um, luck we've had so far, guys. Mm. And truth be told, I did see a Gatling laser. Uh, I think I mentioned this already, but yeah, I saw a Gatling laser while I was setting this up. It is so sad. The good thing is we're, we are seeing him swap to the more powerful weapons. So I feel like I should be able to just look at what weapon he has and then not kill him. It's just too dangerous. And I'm also going for another piece, so it's okay. Man, what if a Gatling laser drops and then I goofed up the timing? Whoops. I gotta wait a little bit longer. Disciples metal right leg. Ah. Ah. Game. Don't do that to me. Look, I have a Disciples Metal right leg already. I need a Disciples Metal left leg. Well, look at that metal left leg. It's pretty good, actually. <sighs> this game, man. Sometimes it just kicks you in the teeth. I don't know if you're wondering why my stamina is going down. Um, you know, when I showed that video where I spent all that time showing how to get to 21 endurance. I do have a bunch of stuff on that makes me run faster at the cost of endurance. Uh, well, two extra pieces, which is my hat and my right arm. The rest, and, and two sprinter's legs, actually. So basically, I drop my endurance by four so i believe it's 17 base right now you know i should swap out the chest though even though it's not armored i should swap out the chest for the uh the operators one with two endurance on it or disciples one with two endurance operators no disciples. <laughs> it was whatever i mentioned in the video i think it's disciples of these things oh yeah it's like torn shirt and jeans one of those did he have a power oh, metal left on right on. whatever i think i'm going crazy guys we're at 108 feeling great the cool thing about the gatling laser is i think i'll be able to prove it works well before even modding it it's gonna be that strong that it's just gonna smoke everything oh hit your freaking quick save Combat. Crippling combat shotgun's pretty good. Some people were saying staggering combat shotgun, which actually I might put on the list. Because I do want to get a combat shotgun in there, and I do want staggering, and I think staggering is pretty cool. Like, especially on a combat shotgun, because it's just gonna... It wouldn't be really high, it'd probably be like 9 or 10 or 8 or something, you know, but it, it's a good combo. And explosive minigun's probably going to be number one. Though I will have to give an honorable mention to the explosive combat shotgun because it's pretty important. I think I'm going to get a lucky on there with something. 
lucky, probably something with really low, something with really low um, action point cost. What would be good for lucky with low action point cost? I damage low action point cost. I don't know how Western Revolver is, it's probably pretty expensive. But the crits don't matter if they don't hit hard, so... I was thinking Lucky Western Revolver, just because thematically it sounds kind of cool. Or Deadeye, but Deadeye is not a very good prefix. Yeah. So far on the list, I think I got Explosive Minigun. Uh, hopefully this weapon, once I get it, it'll prove to be worth it. Um, maybe Junkie's Disciples Blade, probably. Which was featured in the uh, the crazy video, the Masochist video. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, these heavy weapons that are not the one I want. Probably seen like six or seven missile launchers now. I think I'm becoming less coherent as this video goes on. Stay with it. We got this, guys. We're never going to give you up. We're never going to let you down. My wife came out and got some cheese from the refrigerator. I think she's eating wine, drinking wine, and eating cheese. So when she has wine, I go, do you want some cheese to go with that wine? And she does not like that at all. Um, I live in, I live abroad right now. I'm going to be moving back to the States in January and Hopefully, when I graduate, I'll be able to get like a permanent job and a permanent housing setup where I make enough money that I ooh, a nice harpoon gun. Um, make enough money that I can, uh, you know, have a really cool recording room, cool stuff in the background. I bought this disc plate that I sent to my friend's house, and I'm waiting for. Uh, he's holding on to it till I move. And uh, so I have this Nuka-Cola Nuka display thing that's pretty cool. Try to get some more awesome stuff in the background. Maybe I'll get some bobbleheads. And I think at that point I'll be comfortable actually like streaming my face. I don't have any, you know, real insecurities about that. It's just uh, my job right now. Uh, it would obviously be pretty hard for my students to track down. I'm a teacher. It'd be hard for my students to track down my YouTube channel, but the risk versus the reward is just not there. I know a lot of people prefer videos that have people's faces in them, and that's fine. I get that. It's like when you do a... <laughs> when you're watching a lecture, if you ever do online classes, just watching lectures with no... without the teacher's face is just a lot harder. And most of the YouTube uh, guides I watch, they're about, like, filming your face. So I think that's just what people like to see. I think if I, you know, I want to do, like, the cool ranking lists or the tier, tier things, like tearing out all the perks or tearing out all the weapons from a DLC or something. And I think I need my face in those videos, so... Also, if I want to start streaming, I'll definitely need my face. People do not like watching Twitch streams without your face in the video, so... I'm going to try to get a sweet setup. It'll probably be in the middle of next year, though. So, don't... Don't, uh, Assume that's going to happen anytime soon. But I'd love to do live stuff. I'd love to have people actually talking to me while I do this, so I don't go crazy. I know people are listening, and then later I see all your awesome comments that you are watching. 
Um, so I try to keep that in mind while I'm talking. I think it's the new longest video, hour 15. It's like, how long are people going to be able to put up with it? Something went flying up in the air as a weapon. It doesn't look like anything, though. See, Sprinters is on the table. It's right there, but not the item we want. I don't know what's more rare, this very specific piece of armor that we're looking for or the very specific weapon we're looking for. I mean, the armor, there's so many different armor sets. Although there could be a lot more. Man, imagine if like Marine Recon armor was able to drop legendaries. Oh, man, I'd be all over that. I'd love to have a sweet marine armor set. That's the coolest looking set in the game, as far as I'm concerned. The marine armor from Far Harbor. Operator's right leg, and it's not the right, right leg anyway. I got a comment on the video. Let's see what he said. Oh, I didn't hit the button fast enough. Oh my god, if this is it, and I screwed it up because I was looking at a YouTube comment. Someone said, thank you for doing videos of Fallout in 2021. You are welcome. This this game, you know, I did Cyberpunk for a while. I thought that was going to be the thing that replaced it, but it just wasn't good. And, and you know what? Fallout 4 is good. I don't care if people say New Vegas, New Vegas. I played New Vegas. New Vegas is one of my favorite games of all time. Still is. I 100% achievement to New Vegas, but I cannot pick up New Vegas and play it as easily as I can pick up Fallout 4 and play it. That's just how it is. I'll probably do New Vegas playthroughs. I'm sure I will for the channel in the future, but no way. Fallout 4 is on par with New Vegas, at least. It's a great game. And the replayability is probably better. The story of New Vegas, I'll say the story is better. The faction system is better. The faction system in New Vegas is so good. And I think the closest that... Fallout 4 came to a New Vegas-style faction system was Far Harbor. I think Far Harbor has a great sort of factions at opposition thing with each other, and you can kind of play able, you know, play off of them. I think they did a really good job with that. But New Vegas crushes it when it comes to that faction system. I just want to see that. That's cool. Is that the first laser rifle we've seen? I think we've seen like every weapon in the game multiple times, except for the one we're going for. I can't believe we've seen the Fat Man twice. That's so crazy. Flamer, first flamer sighting. That's another one on the rare table. And it's a cool one too, freezing flamer. <laughs> I got a freezing shish kebab before now. I got a freezing flamer. I'm not going to keep it though. Oh, man, this is a bummer, guys. I swear that's another one on that table. It's just, we have been dodging. It's just dodging Gatling lasers at this point. I mean, if I've had good luck, I have to have bad luck too, right? That's how life goes. What would I use for the thumbnail for this? I think I would use the Just Bleed guy from the UFC memes. Because we're talking about a wounding Gatling laser, so I'd use the Just Bleed guy. Just Bleed guy. It's a Western revolver. That's our first Western revolver we've seen. We've seen a bunch of 44s, but not any Western revolvers. I don't think that's on the rare table, though. I think that's just a normal one. So why is this so rare? Well... 
first of all, we got a one in three chance of it being a gun. So only one out of every three times we do this is going to be a gun, which is fine. But compound that with everything else, and then it starts getting tricky. There's among the guns, there's probably 15 to 20. Okay, that's fine. So we're right there, we're talking about one in 60. If it's 20, let's say it's 25, or let's say 15. No, yeah, let's say 15 just to just to give us the benefit of the doubt and make it less ridiculous. So it's one in 45 that it would be a specific gun, but now that one in 45, in addition, only one of those out of all the guns is a rare gun. And when it hits the rare gun, then it chooses among the rare guns on the list. Whoa, okay, we got this dumb save. I don't know if that makes sense. So. It has to roll 1 in 3 to be a gun. Then it has to roll 1 in 15 or whatever to be the rare gun out of all the... There's like 14 normal guns and then one rare gun. And if it's the rare gun, then it rolls again to see which rare gun. And among the rare guns, it's, you know, like probably 5. I think Flamer. It might not be Gamma Gun. Oh, Disciple's Knife! Oh my god. We haven't seen Junkies, so I don't think Junkies is on the table. I think if there was Junkies, I would probably go for it. I can't really think of any other Disciples Knife that I would really want. I mean, Instigating is cool. We haven't seen Instigating, though, so I don't think it's there. Ugh. Disciples Knife. <laughs> so good. Disciples Knife is so good. Ugh. Should I just call it with a Disciples Knife? Best Disciples Cutlass Fallout 4. Powerful. You know, people made videos about this. New best melee weapon, 6,000 damage. Fudge Muppet made one. Um... Legendary. Best melee weapon. Oh, man. Throat Slicer versus Furious. Furious is pretty good. No, let's just keep going for this stupid freaking... Oh, man. That might have been stupid. Because the thing is, that might be as rare as a Gatling laser, actually. But I think I would want to get Junkies. Just so I could play around with the junkies setup. Man, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? We're an hour twenty-three in and still haven't seen anything. We got two items. We are going for. I had to delete a whole bunch of videos. I was recording earlier and I ran out of space. Um, I changed my recordings to 1440p instead of 1080, but I'm still going to upload in 1080. Um, but I want to have higher resolution footage in case I want to zoom in on something. I want it to be a little better when I zoom in. In the future, I'll do 4K recordings, you know. That's how it goes. We'll be a 4K gamer. I don't know what my frame rate would be at 4K. Probably not great. I have a 3070. Um, I got it. Pretty early, actually. I got it like three months after release. I had my friend looking out for one, and he managed to snag one up. I think I paid about $1,000 for it, which was... At the time, people were like, what are you doing? Just wait until it gets cheaper. But now it's like a year later, and it's still not cheaper. It's another super sledge. That jerk grabbed it before I could. Kneecap or super sledge. That kind of makes me cringe thinking about... 
Because you just imagine like when the doctor does that reflex test on your knee, your kneecap and your leg pops forward, but instead he uses a super sledge to do it. Ooh, I'm cringing. That timing was good. I hit the button right at the right time. Plasma sniper rifle. Hmm. Also, sometimes when I do this, I try to think of builds. I want to do another pistol build with the, um, featuring the, um, uh, God, why can't I think of it? The one paladin's paladin dance rewards you with, but modified to be a pistol. So it has low AP cost and has the lucky effect on it. Look at that flip. I've just been thinking about the final judgment for so long. Stalkers. It's unfortunate. I mean, stalkers should be good, but it really should do something with the, you know, the damage bonus from stealth. I wish some stuff had, like, yeah, a damage bonus from stealth multiplier. If stealth attack, then this, just to sort of play with all the other stealth stuff. Instigating is the closest thing to a stealth specific um, prefix, but it's still not there. Pam! I do like this new legendary farming method though. I think I mentioned that like an hour ago. Just we're able to see so much more stuff in a shorter amount of time. It's still taking forever, but it's not like it's uh, impossible. I used to watch, what videos? I used to watch Path of Exile speedruns. It was a really good speedrunner in Path of Exile, and um, just watching his whole run was really fun. And I'd rewatch his videos again, even just his background stuff. Okay. Another Goss rifle. We're seeing every cool weapon except for the Gatling laser. It's making me very sad. I have this. I don't know why. I, I just look down under my desk, like. In my stuff to do pile <laughs> not really pile just under my desks vertically next to my foot there's a PlayStation 4 that has not been booting and I think it's overheating and I think that's why so I need to take it apart it's, oh my god it's automatic okay we've seen so many handmade rifles quite a few lever actions we've seen everything just not the Gatling laser This might be the longest video I ever put out. It's going to take forever to even upload. I am going to put out a really long video in the future that's actually going to be good. It's going to be all of my perfect Fallout 4 playthrough videos put together. So look out for that. Once I get the finish with the series, we're going to put that out. And uh, I think there's going to be pe going to be people who like to just have it running. Violent 44 pistol. You get to hear my improvements in my ability as a YouTuber throughout, hopefully. Yeah, so let's talk about the history of this channel. Uh, I started off, I made, actually, the farming video, How to Farm Legendaries here. And I posted on Reddit at first. And I, I didn't have a lot of luck um, with this video specifically. But then I made a video about just, like, a short video using the explosive minigun. Whoa, operators heavy left, my sprinters too. Oh my god.
How does it look? How do they go together? It's not the one I wanted. I mean, it looks kind of cool. They look pretty pretty good together. I think if I'm going to do this, though, I want the matching set, unfortunately. We're, we're going to keep going. I, I, like, as long as this is taken, I feel like I have to get the, either the Gatling laser or the perfect sprinter's leg. I don't think there's any any way I can justify cutting my losses at this point. So, anyway... Um, so I made the legendary farming video, which had my technique for farming these mobs for uh, loot locking them. No one had ever talked about loot locking these guys. I saw a video kind of mentioning, not a video, I saw a Reddit post where people were talking about possibly being able to loot lock things outdoors. And, you know, certain spots where you could do it. And so I was like... It has to do with draw distance, right? Like, it has to do with them loading in. Because you can look through a scope from really far away and you won't see these enemies until you get to a certain point. And I realized, like, well, what if I can find the exact point when they're drawn in? Is there any way that I can, you know, loot lock them? Because if I can loot lock these guys, then... And they always respawn... Well, now I've got a consistent way to farm legendaries, and i got a consistent way to farm specific legendaries at the same time. And so I figured it out, and I got excited, and I made that video. Like, I wasn't planning to start a channel based on that, and the buzz was just like, this, this is cool. And I actually made the video twice. The first time I made it, it was way too long. And the second time I made it, it was a lot better. It's still too long but it's a lot better. And I started the channel and I was trying to think of what to name it. And my friend always says, you're such an efficiency person. You know, you're always into doing things efficiently in games. And I was like, okay, well, let's go with the efficient gamer. And he said, sounds good. So I made my, my logo is literally just the mathematical symbol for efficiency. Someone finally recognized that the other day. Um, and so I made the channel, I put the video up on Reddit, uh, I didn't get a lot on that, but then I put up some kind of like clips of it, because on Reddit they like shorter videos with fun stuff, and then in the comments I just put my, you know, link to my channel, and based on that first video I got like 100, 200 subscribers just off of Reddit. And I remember even in future videos, I was like thanking Reddit and stuff like this, you know, doing stuff that I shouldn't really be doing. I mean, it's good to thank people, but not at the cost of new viewers. That's what I had to figure out. Um, so that was really cool. And then I made the second video I made because people were like, what is going on with your character? Why does he have low health? Why are you running around super irradiate, or irradiated and stuff like you... You look crazy. What are you doing? And, you know, they didn't understand the unyielding thing. And I had already made the masochist at that point. I had already created the character. And I was like, man, if you mix junkies together with unyielding, you can just create this insanely powerful combination that synchronizes so well because the bonuses from the unyielding offset almost all the negatives of junkies. So it just worked together really well and I, I was like what would I call this guy who's just constantly irradiated and constantly suffering from withdrawals I was like oh he's a masochist you know and so I made the masochist video and I put in a ton of jokes and too many like I cringe when I listen to it now I was just trying so hard to be funny people liked it but I felt like I tried way too hard to be funny I think I, I am you know, I like to make jokes, I like to be funny, I like to write comedy, but I think it was just too much. It's a good, it's a fun video though, but nothing really happened with that. I got a few subs and, you know, I grew a little bit. And then I put out a couple more videos, I can't remember the order, I put out a video with a gunner farm. Oh, I think that was after. I put out a build guide with two builds at the same time, which was the genius and the idiot savant. Kind of side by side comparison of how to think about playing the two. You jerk. 
I don't know if that was it. He took whatever weapon I had. I don't think it was a DOS rifle or anything, but... What was it? Is it that thing? I'm curious. I just want to see what he got. Where is it? Where'd the weapon go that they... Oh, is he at this guy? What in the world? I don't know who got my weapon now. I'm so confused. Did the mutant pick it up afterwards? It just disappeared. Oh, was he holding it? Hey, what's up? Yeah, guess that did get out. Hey, what's going on? No. Where'd it go? I just want to know what it was. I mean, I don't think it was a uh, anything important. Oh well, I guess I'll never know. It didn't look like a. Uh, Gatling laser. I'm just curious what it was. <laughs> Sometimes you, they drop the weapon and someone else snags it before you can get to it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, so I made my Genius versus Idiot Savant video, and I that one I hate. I hate that video. I might delete that video after I remake it. I'll probably make it as two separate videos. Um, then I made the Gunner Farm, which was really funny. It was a uh, parody of Tiger King, which is really popular when that you know, when I made the video. And that one was a lot of fun. And then I was working on another video because someone mentioned that you could create a self-sustaining trap system with Death Claws, Yao Guai, and Brahmin, and I think one other thing like this. So I was like, I'm going to make this circle of life type thing. And I couldn't get the cages to look good. They're too big. Like, there's nowhere to build them that's any good. I tried Abernathy Farm because that one can have the most height, but it just, it wasn't good. I, I don't know where I would build it that would be any good. Oh my god, did that happen again? Someone took the weapon again, and I have to know what it is now. What the heck is it? What? What in the world? I'm very annoyed. I've lost two weapons to... I need like a slow-mo replay of that. I have no idea who snagged that weapon up. Yeah, because here's the legendary. He just doesn't have a legendary. I don't know. Did he just not spawn with one? I th thought I saw a guy reach down and pick something up. It definitely wasn't a Gatling laser, though. This is weird stuff, guys. <laughs> we're getting, We're getting on to two hours now. This is just getting stupid. All right. Dead pipe. Yeah, so I was working on that video and it frustrated me. And I just ended up giving up. And I stopped posting for a long time. Probably almost six months. And then Cyberpunk got released... And I was like, you know what? Let's jump full into Cyberpunk. And I got in real fast. I was making some of the first build guides, you know? And I was like, man, this is awesome. And I was getting some views on them. I was getting some good comments. I was trying to, like, do premieres and all this fun stuff. And I had a lot of fun editing those. You know, there's a part where I do, like, montages, music montages at the end of them. I put a lot of effort into those videos, and now when I go back and like look at the analytics, they're just terrible. 
And I don't even think the content is valid anymore because of how many changes have been made, how many times the game has been patched. It, it just sucks um, that I put that much effort into those videos. I was really spending a lot of time editing those videos and for a game that just ended up flopping so hard, it, it really bummed me out. I felt like I was doing more work than the devs, you know? I felt like I was putting more effort into storytelling with my characters, with my builds, than they put into their characters in the game. And that was a bummer. So then I stopped posting. It wasn't that much later, it was like three or four months later, but then... Ooh, a pow that's the first Power Fist we've seen. Interesting. And that's a cool one too. Relentless Power Fist. Um... Yeah, that, that sucked. But then suddenly, I just started seeing all these comments. And it's like, I don't know why I was recommended this video. And it was the Masochist. And I just started... I, it was being recommended off of a really popular video. And a lot... there was I didn't have a huge click-through rate, but it was like enough that I suddenly was getting like hundreds of views in a day. And like 20 new subscribers plus every day. And... It was crazy and I was like man I have to ride this momentum so I put out that first video that ended up being the perfect Fallout 4 playthrough part one and I got it out as quick as I could but it was right at the tail end when my other video wasn't being recommended anymore and uh, I didn't do it right and I didn't really gain anything um, but I did get over the thousand subscribers which was what I wanted to do to try to get monetized. I had a comp contest, but I really didn't need to. I realized like that video with the contest, it didn't do much. I got a lot of people on Discord for it, but I could have got a lot of people on Discord anyway, just because people like to be part of the community, you know? And everyone who joined just for the contest just left right after the contest anyway. So I'll probably do another contest giveaway at like 10,000. At really big milestones, but um, I'm not going to consider that. That's for you guys. That's not to. I, I considered it as a way of like getting my channel growing faster, but I think that's the wrong way to think about it. It should just be like as a reward for the people who watch my videos. Um, yeah, so I got uh, monetized from just that momentum, and I put out the perfect Fallout 4 playthrough one. And then I put out, what did I put out after that? I think I put out two after that. Yeah, I think I pretty much went straight through. I put out uh, part one, which was grinding experience. And I was like, is this cheating? How do you cheat in a Fallout game? And then I put out part two, which was like the water farm one. And that one, I feel like, I liked the editing in that one the most. I, I liked, <laughs> I used a Tank Girl reference in it, which was really funny. And I also mentioned the Nestle Corporation, who's been monetizing water, which is terrible. Terrible that they're, they're making, like, drinking water, a, you know, basic human necessity. They're making it into something that people, ooh, that's pretty cool. Making it into something people have to pay for and trying to push that. Um, so <laughs> I was glad I could make fun of them a little bit and also get a sweet tank girl reference in. Um, and then I put out part three, which was the level four merchants, which actually I think is the most valuable information on any video I've made. Maybe, I don't know, this loot lock route is really, really important, but the level four merchants are something that's so annoying, especially for completionists that I think it just sucks so bad when people miss it. Um, I think the level four merchant one is is probably the most valuable information. And after that, I was like, what am I going to put out? You know, I just gave like one of the, the best possible things you can do. You know, one of the hardest things you can do. And how am I going to follow that up with something bigger? And then I just, I lost momentum. 
and it was me trying to be too much of a of a perfectionist. And then I started getting kind of obsessed with the shorts and just trying to put out a lot of shorts and I just stopped posting for like five months. And then I noticed my channel was still kind of growing and people were like, where's part four? Where's part four? And I was like, I'm going to lose monetization if I don't post stuff. So I better post something. And so I just posted part four. And, you know, it's it's kind of a simple thing. It's just like getting some powerful early game weapons. Since we can afford it at that point, you might as well buy the Overseer's Guardian. And, uh, you know, you might as well get the Spray and Pray. And... It, it was okay. Like, it was basically one of those things where I had to get the ball rolling again. So get something out there. So that was like another five months. And now we're at this point where we're, where I'm trying to get out these perfect Fallout 4 playthroughs. I'm testing these kind of videos. I'm learning how to YouTube. And I'm just enjoying it. Like, this is a leisure activity for me. I don't want it to feel like it's a job. I want to feel like I'm doing this for fun. And, and you know, what am I doing now? I'm grinding legendaries. What What more fun is that, you know? This is just... I'm talking about YouTube. I'm talking about Fallout. And uh, with people who really think a lot like me, and that's really cool. It's so funny, like, hearing people who actually think about the game the same way that I do. And I've never had that, because all my friends are like, why do you play that way? It's such a weird, dumb way to play, like this min maxi stupidity where you're trying to figure out the best way to do everything. And, uh, like, you're just ruining... The oh, there's another power fist. It's a mean one, just punching humans in the face. Like, what are you doing with your life, man? Don't you play games to enjoy them? I'm like, this is what I do. This is how I enjoy them. And I got a lot of people who think that way, too, and that's awesome. Wouldn't this be a nice time to get it right after that touching speech? Doesn't look like it. I was trying to... I was playing. Playing to the random gods. Like, this is the time to give it to me. Hour and 47 minutes in. Seen two mini nukes. One minigun. Yeah, two fat mans, one minigun. Two fat mans or two fat men? It's like computer mouses, right? Like when it's used in a different context, you use the normal pluralization. <laughs> Here we go again on our own. Putting out a three hour video. Yeah, that's crazy. And I'll just put as many ads as possible. Ad every eight minutes, guys. That's another thing you have to consider. Like, how many ads do I want to slip in here? A lot of you probably use ad blockers. I actually stopped using ad blockers since I became, you know, monetized. I'm like, oh, I see, you know. How can I ask people to watch my ads if I'm not watching ads, you know, or not? You know, I, I skip them. I press the skip button, but at least I let them get their, let them get their slice of the pie, the YouTube pie. So it's like, it would be so hypocritical of me to keep using an ad blocker while I'm getting any money. If I get a dime from ads while using an ad blocker, that's just morally wrong, I think. I was thinking of that prefix for a uh, double barrel combat shotgun, but I think double barrel combat shotgun I'm going to put on the list is probably never ending. It's just so silly. Just, you know, keep firing. <laughs> never reload.
Radium rifle. We've only seen like one or two of those, right? It's been probably an hour since we saw one. And we're getting close to two hours, guys. I don't want to give up on this. It's going to be like an eight hour video. The longest video of all time. I hope you guys, whoever's been farming the uh, Gatling laser along with me, I hope you got it. I hope you got yours. And I also hope you're remembering to quick save. Because that's very easy to forget. Machete. What would be the best machete to use with Krems Krems tooth? Something cool. Oh, I'm yawning. I've been trying to collect the power armor a little bit. I gotta refine my collection. Get all the paints for the T45s and all the paints for the T51s and all the paints for the T60s. I just want to run up here and just have him holding the weapon in his hand, you know? The quaff. The megaton hair. What do you guys think of the Nuka World added hairstyles? I think they're better than the, the Megaton haircut. I'm trying to think of some other games to break. You know, I was doing, I also did like how to break Skyrim. I don't know if any of you guys watched that video. Um, how to break Skyrim with brutal, brutal efficiency, and I actually learned a ton while I was doing that. And I, I really like the method I used in that. I found a really cool way to uh, balance everything and, and time everything out well. And uh, I was trying to find some other games to break that way. I mean, you know, there's like uh, the spiffing Brit, and he's good. Um, he just uses so many like cheats and so many bugs and you know exploits like really nasty exploits to break the game and i mean he, he doesn't hide that he doesn't pretend like that's not what it is or anything i don't have any problem with that but it's like i want to try to break games playing by the rules so i'm wondering what other games i can break that way i actually had a i was working on a video so another thing you know during that five months where I didn't post anything. I had video ideas and I had been working on one for like a Pokemon sword and shield thing. I just took advantage of one of the DLCs in a crazy way to just immediately get an insanely strong level 60 Pokemon or a whole party of them actually. Uh, I, I just couldn't make a decent video out of it. Another game that I broke in not broken because actually in order to like beat the highest enemies in the game you have to break the game but it's a uh, final fantasy 10 which is one of the brutalist grindiest final fantasies in the end game the international edition if you want to beat the crazy last boss it's got some insanity going on like... but there's some cool stuff you can do early on in that What's another one that I could break? I don't know. Oh, Final Fantasy VIII. You can break Final Fantasy VIII pretty easily with the stupid card game. You can get really strong right off the bat if you play play your cards right.
Man, this is brutal. We're almost at two hours, guys. Getting a drink of water. And truth be told, I filmed for almost an hour before this, but the footage got messed up. And I was still playing around with this, uh, this loot locking. It wasn't quite working right. Pack of bone left leg. No, thank you. I only want disciples metal leg. So how many sets might there be? I think we could probably calculate how rare the armor would be if they're all evenly weighted. Um, you got combat, you got leather, you got... Uh, what else can drop? Metal. Combat, metal, leather. Is that it? Combat, metal, leather, and then... Oh, uh, synth. And... Then you have six different sets of Nuka World armor. You can't get like heavy leather or, you know, any of the heavier ones, but you can only the base ones. And then you got six Nuka World ones, two for each faction. And, uh, charge walking cane. Two for each faction. So we got six sets, then we got four more sets, ten sets, five each. Right? Chest, two arms, two legs. So that's a one in fifty. And then divide it in half. That's just a one in a hundred chance. That's not too bad. It's like missing some sets in there. I think about it. Ooh, explosive western revolver. That's neat. Maybe I should have just gotten a second explosive minigun since it's so rare. <laughs> just gotten two explosive miniguns and just equipped one on a companion. It would ruin the game. Disciples, metal, chest piece. Oh my god, this is the best, highest armor chest piece in the game. It's just, I don't have any good prefixes. We haven't seen any good prefixes. How strong that is. And it looks cool too. Let's see. I mean, that's cool. Look, it's got a collar, like a metal collar on it. That's so sick. It's going to be something to farm in the future. Fortifying something. I don't know. I don't know what the best armor is. It, like, it might not even be armor, to be honest. It might be that stupid Child of Adam robes from Far Harbor. Because it synchronizes so well with uh, the radiation stuff. With the perk. I am going crazy. It's weird that I've seen so many other rare things and just not the one I want. Should I just be reloading right as I look at him and he's not holding a Gatling laser? To enter and exit the Institute. Yeah, so this is being recorded after I finish Far Harbor, but before I finish the final game. And I'm still calculating everything to decide which faction to go for. Still haven't fully decided yet. I'm at the point in the game where I, you know, I have to make a decision before I can progress with anything. Because I've done everything. This is stupid, guys. This is a 
dumb. I just passed two hours. I shouldn't be spending time doing this. I mean, it's it's okay. But I feel like I should be working on the video stuff. Oh, it's a distraction. It's okay, guys. We're doing something. She switched weapons. Which means she had something good, which is this awesome handmade rifle. So, it looks like you can see as she's going forward, she will switch weapons if it's something good. Maybe I can just watch. Railway rifle? So, we have never seen a railway rifle, but they can drop legendary. You just have to make, you have to get to a certain point with the railroad um, main quest. But, and it's later than I'm at right now. She switched weapons again. No, she didn't. I'm wrong. Another disciple. Another. Oh my god. This this is like just actually torturing me. This game is torturing me right now. I think we're on the really bad luck side because I, I feel like I've seen enough that we should have seen one of the two. Plasma rifle. I've been waiting for a girl like you. Wish I could see from further away. I wonder if there's a better angle to approach this from. I don't think so. I think the other angle would cause the other legendaries inside to interfere. Like the legendary super mutants to interfere. I think it's a good angle. Didn't change weapons. Didn't change weapons probably means a piece of armor. Which they never wear. You never see them wearing their legendary armor. So what we need is a mod that'll... Wow. Adding more stuff to the legendary table is like... It's good, but then it's bad because it makes it harder to get. But adding marine recon stuff to the table, that'd be so cool. I don't think you got a weapon. I don't think there's like any real chance that it's not possible to get this item, you know? I think it's just been bad luck. I, I don't think it's like rolled off of the list because of how much variety we've seen. We've seen pretty much every single weapon in the game, except for the one we're looking for. We've seen, you know, combat rifles, combat shotguns, DOS rifles, 10 millimeters, uh, disciples, everything. We've seen every freaking melee weapon. We've seen harpoon guns. Seen the minigun, we've seen two fat men. We've seen a flat oh we've seen a flamer. And we've seen a lot of stuff. Didn't change weapons. Probably not any good. Just take his weapon, you jerk. It was a disciples handmade weapon. Where would a disciple get a Gatling laser? Who are these people? I think the three hour mark is where I'm definitely going to have to call it. You know, I'm just out of time tonight. Would I post a three hour long video with nothing? It's possible. I hope it doesn't come to that. I hope I get one of the two. And I really hope it's a Gatling laser, to be honest, because I've been tortured for far too long in this.
I feel like this would be something fun to do on a live stream, though. Once I get everything set up, you know, on Twitch. Just have people hanging out, chatting with me to keep me company so I don't go crazy while I'm doing this. Especially since we found this awesome method of uh, legendary farming. Didn't change weapons, held the same weapon up. Pipe branch. Yeah, if it's a melee, it seems like they just never swap to melee until they're in, you know, melee range maybe, but it seems like they prefer ranged big nasty death claw. I was just watching him that time to see. Didn't look like any switch happened. Yeah. Oh man. Don't hit mods. You spend like 20 seconds trying to get out of the menu. It just immediately goes to a giant loading screen trying to load all the mods available. Do you guys have any, like, uh, Creation Club stuff you really like? Didn't change weapons. People's Cutlass, oh, it's so freaking good. Why can't I get Junkies? I feel like I've seen every single Legendary Prefix currently on the table, and... Um... If it hasn't been seen, I don't think it's there because we've been doing this so many times that we had to have seen every single one. I just love that we're able to actually... This is the third time I'm saying this, but this method is so much better. First of all, I don't, you know, you probably would have gone crazy for me counting one, two, three every time by now. It looked like you switched weapons. Um... Maybe, but it would have had to be. Oh no, it's a right bracer. You know, honestly, this isn't the most efficient thing to do. It it should be making sure I have a lot of different loot options instead of targeting just one thing or just two things. I should make sure that fortifying is on the table and you know unyielding or whatever else I want is on the table as well before I start farming, so that I could. Look, oh. It looked like he was doing something with his weapon. Like it didn't appear right away. Yeah, luckily I, with my full sprinter stuff, I get up there pretty quick. It's about 30 seconds. Uh, a little over 30 seconds. So in two hours, I've seen at least 200 different things which is bonkers oh nope that was a goss rifle darn it yeah lucky goss so it's cool we do see him switch and I'm pretty sure he would switch to a gatling laser if it were there maybe I'll just start doing that I'll just start reloading if I... Well, I'm just so worried. Like, what if he just... That's the weapon he doesn't like for some reason. Or it doesn't give him a fusion core or something stupid like that. I mean, I'm sure it would, but... It would just suck that if that happened. But I do feel like it would show it. Armor, right? Operator's right leg. Bob, Megaton hair. I 
didn't hit the button fast enough that time. He's got a 44. Oh, that's the wrong guy. What is he holding? He's holding nothing. Oh, there he goes. Okay. I may be going crazy, guys. Show me the money. Show me the Gatling laser. I think I've earned it by now. What do you guys think? Where's my treat? Maybe I'll get on TikTok. No change in weapon. Sprinter's metal left leg. I already have that exact thing. It's fun when you see repeats of stuff you already have by the time. Badonk a donk. I like the canteen on the back of it. He's running in. He's confident, but he doesn't have a decent weapon, so I don't know why he's confident. Just whip out that giant Gatling laser so we can all go home. Picket fences. How many of those? I started working on the magazines a little bit. I mean, I'm not so crazy about collecting them yet. I'm not sure how many picket fences there are. No weapon. Just normal. I feel like we definitely see him using a Gatling laser. We saw him using the Fat Man both times. I mean, that's got such huge base damage, and Gatling laser would probably have a lot lower base damage. He could have lower base damage in his current weapon, and that might be what he goes off of. I don't know. How do NPCs decide which weapon to use? Who knows? Who put the bop in the bop, sh bop, sh bop? I feel like I have to do it now, because I know wounding is on the table, so if I bail... I'm just wasting the opportunity to get a wounding Gatling laser, which is all I ever wanted. If nothing else, at least you guys get to see the new method for arming. No change in weapon, but I thought I hit it too fast. Interesting. So, you see, he didn't change his weapon to the Resolute. Yeah, why? Short. Come on, dude. Yeah. So we got the short automatic 6391. It's got more base damage. Whoops. I don't know if it's got more damage per second, though. As rare as it is powerful, Addictol completely cures its users of all addictions. That's true. It is pretty rare. I'm surprised they made it work like that. Like, get rid of all your addictions at the same time. Change weapons, you fool. Don't you want to change weapons to your Gatling laser in your inventory? Oh, shoot. Okay. Who is that man? I'd like to shake his hand. The other day I uh, noticed that 
when I was going through my captures, my video game captures, I had a whole bunch of <laughs> like random videos of me coding. And it turned out, because I have a hotkey for turning on and off the recording, which is my left bracket, right bracket, which is obviously used in programming a lot. So I had my OBS open, didn't realize it. So I kept turning on and off the recording every time I would hit the brackets. So I had all these tiny videos, because usually when I open a bracket, I'd close it. Though some of them were really long, because, um, you know, I'd open a bracket and or pay something, I don't know. It was it was funny though. You gotta remember to close OBS, man. Come on, dude. Switch weapons. Oh we switched weapons, but not to anything good. It's, oh, it's a Goss rifle again. Oh my god, the Goss rifle's kind of exciting because it's big. But it's not held in the same place, you know, he's, he holds it up like a sniper rifle. And we're looking for something like held lower near the hip. Like a heavy gun. Ten thousand subs! Ten thousand subs, what am I doing? A survival run. I promised Obama. What is he holding? Oh, he's gonna switch weapons. Switch to something big, meaty. Oh, he's holding something near his waist. Oh, it's a fat man again. No. Oh my god, that was so exciting, but it wasn't right. Oh, I'm so freaking sad, dude. You could see him like reaching in his inventory, pulling something out. Ah. Oh. That's so sad. That's so sad, guys. Another rare weapon that's not the Gatling laser. That's our third Batman. Oh, I hit the button kind of late. That is so sad. Oh my god. Let's watch him again. That's fun, though. Uh, he just stands around like a goober this time. Nothing. Oh, you could see him, like, reaching, and you could see the thing he was pulling out was, like, it wasn't a normal gun. And it, it was, like, at his hip, and then slowly he just moved it up above his shoulder, and then it just appeared. It's like, no. That animation, man, it just teased me. That would have been epic to just watch it slow-mo come into frame. Oh, I'm running out of stuff to say. What else is new? Yeah, I'm moving back to the States. I've lived abroad for seven out of the last eight years now, which is crazy. I spent one year back in the States getting my first master's degree in linguistics. I crammed it all into one year, which is kind of crazy. And then... I want to change weapons. Don't you want to change weapons? Oh, he didn't change weapons, though. I didn't see the missile launcher there. I guess I got to check every time. Um. Yeah. So I'm finally ready to move back home for good. Uh, my wife is foreign. So we got to work on her visa. The application takes forever to get her green card. So I just thought it was easy, you know? It's like, if I'm American born, I just thought, you know, how does it work with like the 90 day bride or 30 day bride or whatever? Like, how do they get to the US so fast? It's nonsense. I don't know what he's holding. Something wrong with him. See, look at this thing. Stuffed chess piece. I want to see what it looks like. It looks horrible. That's their best one, I think. I think it can be modded to be a little bit better, but I think that's their best. The best are 
the disciples as far as armor and damage resistance goes and then operators are slightly under and then the pack is just way behind and the packs looks like trash too oh switch to a goss rifle not even going to check then because i know it's a goss rifle Another Goss rifle, man. Someone's going to be like, that was a Gatling laser. And I just hallucinated. I'm doing this for too long. I'll review the footage and be like, oh my god, it was. What's wrong with me? He's not switching weapons at all. mahogany baseball bat what do you guys think of the nuka world baseball bats they had some cool they added some cool mods the weird rocket baseball bats and stuff i guess that's the pax contribution funky baseball bats and then they all have their own colored spray to the handmade rifles Change weapons, change weapons. Don't you want to change weapons? I guess you don't. I need to do some cover. Jeez. If we see him changing weapons, that immediately increases the odds of it being a Gatling laser by 300%. Or by two, it increases by 200%. It triples the chance. Because we know if he's switching then it, he has a weapon and we also know it's not a melee weapon so that's why it's you know increases the chance of more switch weapons he didn't switch that's a cool one this is pretty bad guys not gonna lie I think I'm losing my voice from making this video for so long. I don't know what else I would be doing while I was farming this, just watching YouTube videos. Did I get any subs in this amount of time? Let's see if I got any subscribers in this whole amount of time. Make sure I hit the button though. I don't think I did. What a shame. Come on guys, where's my subs? Switch weapons, please. Nope. Nope. Uh, no, I did get one. I got one subscriber in this amount of time. My revenue is the highest it's been so far, which is cool. It's not enough for... I mean, I don't want to get into the money stuff. It's not why I do this. It's and it's definitely not a mon enough money to really make a huge, you know, difference in my financial decisions in the future or anything. It looks like he was switching weapons. It looks like he's putting his hand down to switch. You were switching weapons, right? Yeah, he was just to a forty-four. Um, but it's cool, like the fact I can even make a dime. You know, it's something that didn't seem possible. So. That's really cool. And I also really like that it, it doesn't come out of you guys' pockets or anything. I, I don't know how I would feel if I did a Patreon. I feel like if I ever did a Patreon or asked for money from people for something, I would have to make sure it's a full-time thing at that point. Because I just don't feel right, you know, asking for money for something that I'm not putting 100% into and not, you know, feeling like it's worth it. I was thinking about, like, what if I get to the point, I mean, probably getting ahead of myself, but getting to the point where it might be worthwhile to actually advertise stuff. And the thing I see advertised the most are these predatory phone apps. And I don't want to say, like, never, you know, never say never, right? I don't know how much they pay. 
it might be one of those things where I have to make a morally gray decision, but I don't like those things. Radium rifle again. I don't like those things. I'm just, you know, I don't like their business model. Um, the the pay to win model that just encourages you as you get more into the game to throw money at it. I never play those. The reason I don't play those is because I know I'd be one of those suckers who throws money at it because I'd want to be competitive. And the only way to do that... Ooh, he's switching, he's switching. <gasps> oh my god, there it is. Oh my god. Gatling laser, people. Two hours and 26 minutes. Are we going to get wound? Oh, we're cautioned already. We got assassins. Oh my god, please tell me that I did not goof up the loot lock. Did I quick save? If I didn't, you know, if I goofed up the loot lock, that that's it for me. I'm quitting. I'm quitting this. Gatling lasers in. I quick loaded. Oh my god. If I goofed up the loot lock, I think I'm just done. I'm not going to post this video. Switch weapons. Oh, he's got the Gatling laser. He's still got a Gatling laser. Don't get spotted. Don't make him mad. Oh my god, Crippling. Crippling's a really cool one as well. Like, you can instantly just stop any melee attackers from coming at you. <gasps> oh. Dude, I'm so relieved right now, guys. This is insane. Two hours, 27 minutes. I, I mean, if you made it this far... First of all, you typed whatever I said like an hour and a half ago into chat already. The Easter egg. You found the Easter egg and you typed it in. And second of all, like, holy cow. Thank you guys for hanging out on this journey. Ugh. This one was brutal. This one was so rough. And it's just inevitable. I'm not worried anymore. Mighty. Mighty's awesome. I'm just feeling funny right now, so I just want to blow these guys up. Just don't press autosave, please. Look how bad it is right now, though. Like, look how little damage it does. So I w this is for comparison. Just so you can see the difference. Look how long it takes for me to actually burn through. It looks like I have to buy me more fusion cores, too. Look how long it takes for me to burn through this Warlord. It took me a whole fusion core to get through him. Like, that's crazy. Okay, quick load, please. That's just for a barometer to see how much better the, uh, the wounding is going to do against the same Warlord. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. Like, that's how tough these super mutant warlords are. They're just insanely tough to kill, and I'm hoping this weapon changes things. I'm actually not sure it will, because I don't know if they're just so bulky or if their damage resistance is high. I think it's got to be damage resistance. There it is. A wounding Gatling laser. We got it. It took exactly two and a half hours of farming after our beautiful setup, but we finally got the best Gatling laser in the game, the Wounding Gatling laser. I don't know. It's got a standard Gatling laser receiver on it, so... But I want to show this thing off. I want to show you guys the power of this. Let's do a hard save so I can reload after this. Oh my god, I'm, oh, I'm so happy, guys. This was the most brutal farm we've done so far. And it should be because it's a rare weapon, but... Is he not dying? Am I... Am I... Oh, okay, there he goes, okay. Alright, let's test it on this these warlords now. It's still not that impressive. I mean, you can see it's the damage stacking on him. 
it's better. Like, look how much faster he's going down, though. It's still pretty brutal, though, guys, if I'm being honest. Still not that... It is nice. Look at look at his health going down. It's all stacked on him. It's just these warlords are so tough, man. Let's try it with crits. <laughs> Listen to that sound. It's better, though. It is a lot better than the previous one. Oh, don't waste fusion cores. That's the other problem I'm going to have, is wasting fusion cores by swapping too early. Oh, you got a heavy weapon? So do I. These super mutant warlords are insane, though. They're, they're the really toughest guys I face. Okay, it's still really cool. Really strong. Oh, don't do that. Don't waste a fusion core. Oh, it didn't waste it. Okay, it just puts it in the inventory and replaces it with a full one. So you get a bunch of crappy small ones. Oh my god, I'm so happy, guys. I didn't even make the disciples mad somehow, even though I was lighting one of them up. Let's open a chest here. Wow, I hope that's not forked. Okay, we're going to do this to get Gage a little love and just kind of calm down okay let's go back let's go back to the normal world my god what a brutal farm that was guys i cannot believe how long that took that was a killer We're gonna have to do a compilation of all my uh, all my findings. I talked so much about everything. I probably gave away a bunch of personal information that I shouldn't have. Uh, let's go to our Vault 88. This is cool though. I mean, this is really strong. I don't think it's as strong as the explosive minigun but i do agree with people that it's quite strong and the wounding does stack it's just those warlords have so much health um but we saw it was going probably three times as fast as the previous one as the mighty which was plus 25 percent damage like we tested out the mighty one which was one of the better ones as well Rapid is good, it just, I don't know. Rapid is only available for as final judgment from Maxon. And I'll definitely test that out if I make the decision to, I gotta mess with this place too. I think I don't have enough beds for everybody now. I'm gonna stop recruiting. I'll probably send a bunch of them away. Oh, sorry. Okay, so let's, uh, Let's deck this guy out. Let's see what we can deck it out with. So we want the... Ooh, we need to get more perks. Oh, no, we need more aluminum. Okay, this is stupid. Let's sleep for a minute and buy some aluminum. No, uh, uh, don't. This has been a long enough video. Which one would be the best, though? Not overcharged, or wait, is it overcharged? No, it was, uh, what's, what's, I don't want charging barrels, because I don't want to decrease the fire rate by that much. You know what's crazy? Look at the fire rate, 272, 45. So apparently if you get the rapid prefix, it completely negates the negatives of charging barrels, which is why it's so strong. Um, yeah, we'll beam focuser, better range, accuracy, recoil. Um, cool. I, I want the highest fire rate, though. Which, actually, nothing really increases the fire rate, so... Uh, I mean, overcharged capacitor is going to be the best. But not really that impressive. You know what I can do, maybe, to get some aluminum? Do I have scrapper? Did I, did I get all the scrapper perks yet? Where's scrapper? 
I still got a lot to do. It's in this tree. Scrapper. Wait, where is Scrapper? Oh, this is just embarrassing now. I think my mind just got fried from farming for two. Oh, there it is. I only have one rank. I need to get... Wait. Okay, I do get aluminum. So I can, if I can scrap some weapons, I'll get some aluminum. Let's see. Let's scrap some. Some pistols. Did I get it? Okay. I don't get any aluminum from pistols. Well, that's cool. What do I get aluminum from? Assault rifles? Come on, where do I get my... I don't know what scraps into aluminum. Gamma guns are very important, don't scrap those. How about hmm stuff that I don't want to replace or do I is it the components that make them scrap into those? I don't know, let's see. There we go. Look at all that aluminum. Okay, so it's if they're modded, they give you some material back for the mods. Okay. So we'll scrap all these guys. Yeah, everything that's got mods. Okay, now we should be able to get our, our thing how we want, which is going to be overcharged capacitor since that's there's nothing that increases the fire rate anyway. Adds better burning damage, better range, improved damage. I think overcharged capacitor is the best, just add to the base damage. Am I wrong, people? Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't want charging barrels because they decrease fire rate. Um, sight doesn't really matter, whatever. Muzzle, beam focuser, just adds range, sure, why not? All right, this is our beautiful weapon. I don't even know if I can get a screen a screenshot of it for the the preview. I mean, I feel like the comments right off the bat are going to be a two and a half hour video, but I have time. I can't even get a good shot of it. I'm going to have to do probably a, a console command to get rid of my UI so I can get a good screenshot. It's a beaut, though. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for sticking with me for so long. Um, I really thought I was going to have to bail on this, and it just took forever. So what a nightmare of a grind. And uh, yeah, until next time. To survive in the wasteland, be more efficient than me. Bye-bye.